So how you doing? Uh, today we're gonna just just starting a fire is all I'm doing. Um, for those of you who are wondering, Jacob is home. He uh, he just got home and all is good. So a little update there. But today we're just starting a fire and I'm gonna show you my procedure. Alrighty, um, I do it with cardboard. That's right. I start my fires with cardboard and some people don't. Um, you'll notice that uh, there's advantages and disadvantages here. Alrighty, and I'll point out what helps you start a fire with cardboard. All right. So, yep, here we are. We got cardboard in there. And as you see, to start a fire with cardboard, we want to kind of shred it up. Now, this works good for these type that have the bottom door with the ash pan because you have grates in the bottom. If you do not have grates in the bottom of your wood burner, cardboard is not a good solution for you. Um, it works best when you have the grates. Uh, what it does is you leave the bottom door open and it shoves air up through the bottom of the fire and gets it going. You know what I mean? Now, one of the nice things about this method, I'm going to show you here. Now, you're going to notice that I'm not even going to use kindling. I'm just sticking wood in there. Just like so. No kindling. So, yeah, no kindling at all. Just stick a wood in. Just like so. No kindling whatsoever. We're just going to straight wood. And now I'm just going to get her started. So you see, I got her started. All I'm gonna do now is close the door and let it draft through the bottom door. I'm gonna stick one more piece of wood in here and then close the door and let it draft through the bottom. Kind of like so. Alrighty. We're gonna close the door. And now we wait. So there you go. Can you hear it drafting now? Just getting her going. What do you say we take a peek inside and see what she looks like? Easy going. Let's close her up and let her draft a little bit more. Now I'm also watching my thermostat. What do you say we take another peek inside the door? I think she could go just a hair longer. You can definitely hear it going now, huh? Temperature is getting closer. See that? Temperature is getting a lot closer now. So we want to open the front door. So this is the point we want to open the door and leave it open for a few minutes. And I'm good to go ahead and throw another piece of wood in, I think. You see how it's dying down? But you can see we've now got the red coals in there. So the fire is good to go. Now we, you can 
can see we just got a small fire in there. So I'm going to go ahead and draft it up just another minute more. flames going on there now huh so this is a point where I would kind of use the front door it's like a throttle and you know kind of keep the flames right about that level for a few maybe probably another five minutes until I shut her down but I'm pretty much pretty much there Let's open her up and take a peek. Look at that. So she's good and good enough now that uh, even the door all the way open isn't affecting it, which is a good sign. If you use this method, make sure you keep your pipe clean for certain. Um, you could end up having sparks flying up the flue and cleaning, you know, catching off the uh, creosote that's built up in your pipe. Uh, I don't shut the, I don't shut the wood burner down until she's running good and hot. Uh, you know, those, those periods of cold temperatures are where your creosote is created. So I will let it run with the door wide open just to, just until she's going good. I won't shut her down until she's running good and hot. So we'll let, we'll let this burn for five minutes and then I'll bring you back. So there we are. You can see I threw another piece of wood on the fire, but we're good to go. I'm gonna close her down now. I got a good fire going here. So let's go ahead and close her down. So we got both doors closed. All I gotta do, Close down my damper. See, now I got my damper closed down and we are good to go. Mm. So that's it. That's all I knew. Fire started, doors closed up, she shut down, and she's good to go. All we can, all we gotta do now is feed it, you know? Boy, if you could smell my kitchen right now. Is oh yeah. That's deer meat, boys. There is my missus. She's keeping the seeds from the green peppers so we can plant them next year. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's 100% deer meat in there. So I got 18 pints sitting here ready to go. I don't think it's all gonna fit, but we'll find out. Uh, we could have some for dinner. Or I can can up some more. I have to wait and see. Uh, I take this and you know make some little a little bit of rice or some bow ties or even some homemade noodles and pour it all in together after whenever we're ready to eat it. And we got a meal. You know? Wouldn't you know it, I fill up exactly 18 pints. Talk about luck. <laughs> All right, let's close her down and get her rolling. There we go. 18 pints straight out of the canner. Ooh, that looks so good. Yummy. Makes you want to eat it all right now. You know what I mean? Mmm. Time to plan for the next batch. Just a little video for you today and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.